Mm. That it is that I speak unto you, saying, Your sight, hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence. Mercy. Except your youngest brother come hither. Amen. And I started 16? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Verse 16. 1 6. 42 16. All right. Send, I don't, send one of you. Is that where it starts? Yes, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Send one of you and let him bring your brother. And you shall be kept in prison that your words may be tested to see whether there is any truth in you mm. or else. By the life of Pharaoh, surely you are spies. So he put them all together in prison three days. And Joseph said to them, the third day, do this and live, for I fear God. If you are honest, then let one of your brothers be confined to your prison, the prison house, but you go and carry grain for the famine of your house. Mercy. And bring your youngest brother to me, so your words will be verified, and you shall not die. Mm. And they did so. <laughs> and they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, and that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, do not sin against <laughs> the child, and you would not hear. Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. Mercy. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself about from them, and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon, and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and to restore every man's money into his sack and to give them provision for the way. And thus did he unto them. Amen. 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 Woo! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we just finished reading from Genesis chapter 42. We started at verse 11. And um, I believe I will be speak, picking up at uh, verse 26, and I will go on to verse uh, 30. And it says thus, And they laded their asses with corn, and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass part venture in the inn. Uh, he expired his money, for behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack, and their hearts failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God hath done unto us? And they came unto Jacob, their, and their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, the man who is the Lord of the land spake roughly to us and took us for spies of the country. Praise ye the Lord. I, I know this is not the first time we are reading the story of Joseph. And even if we cannot read, somebody must have watched it in a movie. Because talking about... You could call it drama. Talking about 
all that was taking place. But the big question is, do we believe that Joseph's brothers were scared? And I believe they were. Because the men, first of all, let, let me ask you this question. I believe I asked it yesterday. Did the brothers know that they were dealing with Joseph? No, they did not. Like I said, if you don't answer the question, then I'll, I'll try my best to answer it. They did not know it was Joseph. But did Joseph know that those people were his brother? And the answer is the answer is yes. He knew them. But I don't know what to say. Did Joseph speak to them in, in the Hebrew language? And the answer is no. Look at Joseph understanding what his brothers are saying, but he still used a what? An interpreter. <laughs> and he dealt roughly with his brothers. But deep down, do we believe that Joseph still loved his brothers? But he just wanted to He just wanted to find out if they had any kind of love in their hearts. When the brothers were traveling back and they went to feed their asses, what did they find in the sock, in the sack? They found their money. And they were contemplating and trying to figure out, say, what? Is God doing to us? First, I'm pro they're probably saying that the, the man, the Lord of the land accused us as being spies. And then now I open up my sack and the money is in it? <laughs> Have mercy. Have mercy. But the good thing about it, there's one brother who stood out and said, I told you so. What was the name of that brother? Start with an R. Reuben. Reuben said, I told you not to do this. Now we are getting payback for what we did to our brother Joseph. Praise the Lord. And I tell you, God is so good. I know my time is almost up. <clears throat> but I want you to understand that Joseph requested for who to come is his younger brother is his br younger brother and that's because his younger brother younger brother's name was what we read it long time ago benjamin and benjamin was benjamin. yeah benjamin and he was blood brother from mother and father to Joseph. And he wanted to see Benjamin. Let us pray that we will see Christ when he comes. We will not do what the brothers did to Joseph. But we will live an honorable and a peaceful life in Christ. In this troublesome world. Praise the Lord.